What's up, peeps? Good morning. Morning. How you doing, Dale? Good morning, Andre. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Zaylin. Good morning. Morning, James. Uh, today's going to be a shitty day. It's brand new boots. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I bring the old ones just in case. Yeah. Good morning, Spence. Good morning, Jacob with a K. Good morning, Jasmine with a J. Morning. Shanice, there you are. Do you have Belleville boots on, Mayor Dale? I have what? Belleville boots? Uh, no, they're Timberline Pro. They've had the same kind of boots for like 14 years, man. They still make these things. But I recommend like the first using Belleville. They're called Belleville? Belleville. Yeah, my dad told me Red Wing one year, and it's like, oh, that's the worst mistake I could have ever made. <laughs> the Belleville are like the, uh, what the uh, Chiefs wear in the Navy. They're like they're the best kind. So trust me, in the Belgium. Those are the guys with life or thumb. <laughs> life yeah, or thumb. Do. It's because they hold they hold their coffee cup like that. So <laughs> that's life or thumb. <laughs> life or thumb, man. <laughs> we don't know about that deal. Jasmine, are you doing a drug deal? Mm-hmm. How is it? It's all right. Okay. You're gonna, you can ask Shanice. I've been having technical difficulties all morning. So. I sent you an email the other day. You didn't answer me. I'm very, very upset about it. Ooh. I got an email. Feelings. When did you send it to me? On Tuesday, a little bit after class. Oh. He's barely Let's awake. See. Tuesday after class, I was taping my COM7 class, followed by my COM4 class. Followed by, oh, yeah, drugs. Um, so oh. I missed Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it obviously had to be important. It was very. Uh, good morning, Narcisa and Jack. Good morning, Nicole. So I will check my email. Yeah, because you don't do Canvas email, right? You only want the Outlook email. Yeah, please. Okay, that's the yeah. thing. I thought maybe Jake, I no. Jacob with a K asked me the other day, he goes, Do you check your canvas thing? And yeah. I went, They keep there's a number there. Yeah. Found <laughs> that out I, the hard way. Yeah. I opened my email yesterday and it said September thirteenth. You get a whole week back. There's nine days that it just didn't do anything so. but i'm visiting the dean this afternoon so i will make it clear that damn it my mm. students come first are you in trouble probably <laughs> <laughs> who else goes to the dean's office 
Uh, well, Agnes will be there. Two new workers go to too. All I know for a fact is that I'm too short to really give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, so. And being short is military parlance for you have a short time before you get out. Yeah, okay, short. so you're Please. a short timer. You got to stand on a dime to pee on a quarter. Yeah. You got the Irish, you call it um, G O D A I? D O D A I. G G O I. G O I. Getting out itis. Getting out itis. Yeah. Yep. Figmo. Sounds a lot like a theme song. Figmo, I actually saw it on a license plate, and the guy had retired Marine on the back. I don't know how he got the license plate, but Figmo means fuck it, got my orders. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. so. Figmo. All right. That's so, what do you want? Mind. Where are we? What are we doing? And why are we doing it? Didn't I have you in groups of some sort? Katie, you don't look happy. <laughs> On Tuesday, we were in our groups. And you were creating a two contention oh, yeah. affirmative? No, we were um, make doing four examples. Oh yeah, yeah good no ones, way. good ones. So everybody's got those. So let me do this, and I'm going to do that. Um, it must look weird to you, guy. Got screens popping up and shit, and you just see that picture. So there's five. All right, you got seven and one half minutes to get those four things together again. Make it, Do it again? No, that make sure everybody's got it and that you got it set up correctly. Assertion and a causal proof and assertion and an analogy proof. Okay, assertion and uh, hey, logic. Right. We, we did it though. We were already in our groups. Uh, yeah, we already did it. Groups were already yeah, talking we about it. it. And Andre and uh, oh, some of us went. We're going, yeah. Yet. And then it was on to yeah. the next group. Okay, in, in, in seven minutes, we're going to do that. Okay. okay. Join these groups. <laughs> Let's see if we get the same groups. Don't, don't do as I say, do as I say. <laughs> <laughs>
do their homes. Okay, we're going to start and calculate it. I'm the best ass in the world. Okay. Yeah, dude. Interesting. Okay. Huh? <laughs> so. I pulled one up. <laughs> I was like, damn it, this is a good one. <laughs> it's so stupid. You can use it. Go Sorry. ahead and use stupidity. <laughs> we, we love it. We love being stupid. Well, this so, is the epitome. As a group, as a group, you're going to come up with four arguments an assertion and a causal proof, an assertion and analogy proof, and something that makes an illogic claim and something that makes. An authority claim. Claim. So, hey, I also told you to come in with. All women should have free birth control available. Free birth control makes an authority claim. I'm going to break you into groups. You're going to have six and a half minutes to put together an assertion and a proof that shows one of those other forms of reasoning. As you all start thinking, what the hell? <laughs> Do we have to use one of the articles that you were asking us about? Or, or... No, because nobody has any of the fucking articles. So <laughs> I pulled one up to was like, damn it, this is a good one. <laughs> it's so stupid. You can use it. Go Sorry. ahead and use stupidity. <laughs> we we love it. We love being stupid. Well, this so, is the epitome. As a group, as a group, you're going to come up with four arguments an assertion and a causal proof, an assertion and analogy proof, an assertion and an ill loop. As a group, you're going to. come up with four arguments. An assertion and a causal proof, an assertion and analogy proof, an assertion and an illogical proof, and an assertion and authority proof. You have now only six and one quarter minutes. Join. but you know <laughs> my email or yeah, that yeah. Didn't answer? <laughs> well you wrote in the email oh, first sorry. off a hundred dollars is not a number <laughs> <Renee. Okay. laughs> so we'll get rid of that one right away and here's the deal okay so for example i looked with jacob with a k's email and he's saying that uh do, do, do. Technology should be accessible to all students. <laughs> Is that a proposition of policy? Does that ask for a distinct change? Or is it more a proposition of fact? I look at it and go, technology should be accessible to all students. Okay. Is it asking for a change? No. Yeah should be made accessible to all students. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're starting to get into something that we can wrap our teeth around. Now, in this case with Jasmine, you know, like once, we, once we get like, you put a five before those two zeros in decimal point, 
then we can start talking about your A, okay? <laughs> but she came up with contentions for her topic. How the hell did you do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't, uh, you let your research create your contentions for you. Because oh, right now, okay. if she That's goes. That's why I was struggling. Yeah, right now, if you go looking for that they use profile data to exploit the users, okay? Yeah. You're going to be throwing away good arguments right. because it doesn't say they're exploiting their users. And then you become frustrated and I can't find anything. So for everybody, read the article, three or four words on the side of the page, summarize each section, and then set it aside. Read the next article. Do that again. Three or four words. This says this. <laughs> this says that. And put it aside. Read your third article. And after the third article, you can go, all right, this one says it exploits the users. This one says exploits sure. users. And this one says cows are beautiful. So I have two proofs for a contention saying it exploits the users. Now you can narrow your focus a little to find that third. Gotcha. But Makes let, sense. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> right? <laughs> then that you can seems, do it. That seems like we got cut short a little bit on the time there. No? Oh, I lied about the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. We were all like, wait, what? Because cause you all were being all cocky going, yeah, we did this bullshit Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you were lying to me. So you were busted. What? We didn't lie. I would we never. <laughs> we did different yeah. groups. <laughs> we like did do it on Tuesday. <laughs> do you want to go back and do it again? Mm -mm. We they're going to yeah. gonna pay me if I say anything or not. <laughs> we can do the, what we did again. I still have it written down. You got Thanks, it? Jasmine. Nicole, <laughs> do you have your group? <laughs> from last week? Yeah. The no, just from Tuesday. From Tuesday. Oh, from yeah. Tuesday. I have, it's not all the way finished. I'd like to finish. <laughs> oh, somebody got a message. Me. My computer's finally turned on. Why, why is it that you're... Oh, are we leaving again? <laughs> yeah, be gone. You want time? Here it is. <laughs> New group. What are we doing?
So we're coming up with an argument. Um, I think it was with our articles, like the causal or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Individually or as a group? Like as a group. Should it be? Um, it can really be about anything. So, like, let's think. Students should. All students should live on campus. For free. And then the contention is, would be all college students should live on campus for free. Because it is beneficial.
Okay. And we have to come up with an argument, right? Yeah. With the causal analogy, uh, anecdotal, and Do you guys have four statements, one not with a causal proof and one with an analogy proof and one with a logic proof and one with authority proof? Yeah, um, I had a question. What if one of um, like the main ones, what if we have two together? Like I have authority as well as begging the question or do I need to make another one specific? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, good job, Zaylin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> wait, you're right. I have right. a question too. Yes. Um, so can you give an example of similarity? Is it kind of like begging, uh, I mean, hasty generalization? No, with, you mean for analogies? Yeah, like, okay, so the, the analogy and then the hasty generalization. I'm kind of okay. confused on how are they different. An analogy is just claiming something similar. So the fire that's um, burning Professor Bob in Dillon, the sequoias is similar to the, the Calder fire. Okay. And so people would ask, are they similar? And they'd go, yeah. Well, give me enough points, relevant points of similarity. Oh, okay. Okay, they're burning trees. Well, yeah, but that really doesn't, <laughs> you know. So uh, they're both large and uncontained. Oh, okay, that's that's similar. Now, if I say California is having a massive wildfire, <clears throat> they have that Calder fire going up by Tahoe. Now that's only one. That's a hasty generalization. Okay. Okay. So, oh wait, they have the Calder fire and the Windy fire. Oh, that's only two. That's still a hasty generalization. You know, uh, they have the Calder fire, the Windy fire, the bad fire, the upside down fire, and the uh, e Ethiopian fire. Oh, okay. Shit, that's not a hasty generalization anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but just analogies, just similar. Okay, so, so what do you great. what do you have on your hat, James? Oh, it's ponchos. I got it from Pismo. Okay, so uh, James uh, spent twenty bucks on a hat in Pismo because when I went to Pismo, I bought a twenty dollar hat too. Okay, so one at one point uh, you could go. So, are you similar to James? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other one is it begs the question because okay. I didn't give you an assertion at all. So, what the hell are you talking about, Tom? Okay. Got it, Jack. Good. Good. So you have thirty seconds, and I'm going to call you back. Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job, Zaylin. And why would you spend 20 bucks on a hat? Do they give you any advertising money? No. <laughs>
Everybody hum. What's that guy doing behind you, Miguel? Oh, it's a basketball. You're, you're oh, muted, man. bro. Huh? I'd say again. Okay, dokie. Where's the other group? Did they leave us? Andre, yeah. could you go the other way? You're making me dizzy. <laughs> Thank you. There they are. Wonder what the hell happened to them. Good. Now, one of the key things, we don't have any formal organization, so this isn't technically a debate. You're just going to, Jack's going to say an assertion and give us a proof. And then Javier is going to rip it up. So go ahead, Jack, give us one. Mm -hmm. Javier, what's your first question? Oh, I was supposed to. Oh, but I didn't... <laughs> Can you repeat that? Sorry. No, Jacob with a K. What's your first question? You're muted, bro. Probably help if I unmuted, yeah. Uh, shit. Did they give us any proof? No, 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 no. Jack, you just say that's what they said. That's anecdotal, and I do not accept anecdotal proof. Okay. What reasoning is um, being used here other than anecdotal? You eat processed food, you get dementia. Sounds like a hasty generalization. Yeah. Why, Dale? Because it know. is uh, coming to a big conclusion. No, that's a definition. Day. Why is this proof a hasty generalization? Because he didn't didn't really prove it. He only used one, one or two proofs. There you that go. You only gave us one problem. That's a hasty generalization, which is a form of a logic, and I don't accept a logical proof. Okay, so you identify the reasoning, in this case, illogic, and then you got specific. It's a hasty generalization. Why? Only gave us one thing. Okay, but people are, like Dale just did, people are going to give me the damn definition. You're coming to a large conclusion based on limited evidence, and that doesn't tell me you know what a hasty generalization is. <laughs> okay, you only gave us one thing. That's a hasty generalization. Okay. And it's also begging the question. Why is it begging the question? Because he's only he's not linking. Did he show that sausage is processed meat? No. Okay, so if he's claiming that processed meat causes dementia, What's that have to do with sausage? Okay, because if I take I take this damn cat and cut off its back leg and make a mitten with her fur and put the meat product or the meat part of her into a blender, 
and then put that in a casing. Is that processed meat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I'm thinking about how you process meat. I put it together. <laughs> but processed meat has chemicals and shit in it. Okay. So let's take venison. Why is it that we call it something other than what it is? It is deer. <laughs> yeah. I was it's a deer, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've had plenty of backstrap growing up. So we we don't eat deer, we eat venison. We don't eat cow, we have steak. What Indeed. I mean yeah. I don't know, never mind. But <laughs> it's begging the question. Is sausage processed meat? Hmm. Good question. Zalen, give us one and William, rip it up. Okay, Biden says getting the shot is beneficial. Who? Who? Biden. Who? President Biden. Thank you. I had to say President Trump for four years. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) All right. President Biden thinks that getting the shot is free, it's safe, effective, and convenient. Safe, effective, and convenient there, William. What's your first question? Is there any proof? Did Uh, they give us any proof? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what they said. That is anecdotal, and I don't accept anecdotal. Proof. You don't accept anecdotal proof. Anecdotal proof. Good. Because we're going to get these damn statements down before three weeks from now when you have to do it for real. Okay. What's the other form of reasoning, William? Uh, That is hasty, and I cannot accept it. Okay, a couple of quick things. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, if it's a hasty generalization, you have to tell me why. But she gave us three things, safe, effective, and fun, or whatever the third one was. Convenient. Convenient, thank you. So what reasoning is that? Not to show I'm a little lost from here. Okay, but... Eloisa is going to help you out. She gave us three reasons why the vaccine is fun. What reasoning is that? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Nice. Okay, that look of shock. Nicole. (laughs) Sorry, I didn't hear what you said last. She gave her assertion and gave us three things to prove it. What reasoning is that? Causal. Narciso? Since she gave us three different uh, evidence, it's uh, we cannot do the causal one. I mean, we mm-hmm. can. I mean, we cannot do the hasty generalization. We would have to either do the authority one or the causal one. Okay. So because she also linked the fact to her contention, so she is not. Uh, begging the question. So do the cause of questions. Does, is getting the shot always? No, that's question two. Oh, I don't have the paper, but I mean, let me get it out. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's no, like, it's not peeps, this is debate so class. Right. You walk in and you go, here's my right opinion. Here. Does the hey, shot uh, cause benefits? Wait. Recording in progress. So I, I can't. I can't say. Andre, anymore. you forgot to remind him. Yeah, Andre. <laughs> so go ahead. Who's got the first question? Does the shot cause these benefits? Um. Yeah. Does the shot cause these benefits all the time? Unsure. What's the percent of the time does the shot cause? Uh, the benefits. Not stated. Are there any other causes for the benefits? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> because we have not ruled out alternative causality, I cannot accept your proof. Good. Jasmine, say your assertion and proof, and Katie's going to tear it up. Okay. So um, our assertion is that. Oh, it's kind of like what we did the other day. 
It's now okay. seven seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, okay. All right, price is going up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um everybody should drink eight glasses of water a day. According to Dr. Tom Weiss, you should drink eight glasses of water a day because it's good for your health. Katie. Uh, did they give us any proof? That's what they said. Um, mm -hmm. Is Dr. Tom Weissy an expert? Um, yes. Are we supposed to say no? <laughs> say no. No. <laughs> um, because you have an inappropriate authority and an inappropriate authority is illogical. I cannot accept your proof. Do not accept illogical proofs. What's the other illogic? Uh, would it be hasty journalization? Why? Because she didn't give us enough. No, that's points. the definition. What? So what made this a hasty journalization? Um, How many things did she give us? One. Ergo. Therefore, it's a hasty journalization, and it's illogical, and I don't accept illogical proofs. Yes. What other illogic is it? Anybody? Anybody? Well, I thought you'd be well, the inappropriate authority is already there. Uh, causation. Mm -hmm. What other illogic is it? Oh, illogic. Sorry. That's okay. Eight hundred dollars. Okay. Ah. Ah. Back. Say it again, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Everybody should drink eight glasses of water a day, according to Dr. Tom Weisey. Because it's good for your health. Begin the question. Everybody should drink eight mm -hmm. glasses of water every day. Intentionally. Does that does that beg the question, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> You're not like, no, it's not. It's not. All it's, it's not. doing yeah. is simply repeating the contention. It repeats this contention. So begging the question is the form of hasty. No, form of illogic. <laughs> <laughs> He used to be the smart class. <laughs> but the dumb class got it. I don't know what I'm doing differently at 7.45 in the morning. My headache's still here. This is what, the 18th week of the semester and I still have a headache from day one? Oh. <laughs> post concussion syndrome. We'll get it. You get it. Good. So, Miguel Samano, give your assertion and proof. And I beg anybody who knows what they're doing to rip it up. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Miguel. My assertion is everyone should exercise. And then my proof is according to an excellent source, exercising is good for you. Did they give us they any, proof? any proof? That's what they said. That is anecdotal and I don't accept anecdotal proof. And then the second one would be because you only gave us one form of evidence, it's a hasty generalization and I, hasty generalization is a, a, logic, a form of illogical and I don't accept illogical proof. Good. Good. Spencer, are you in there? The hell are you doing? <laughs> well, sometimes my camera like goes away from me for some reason. It, like, oh, it's, it's your background. Yeah. So give us your assertion and proof. And somebody that's relatively intelligent is going to tear it up. Finally. Hmm. So my proposition was everyone should eat more meat. 
define everyone as everyone above the age of five. Uh, meat is food that comes from like an animal. Uh, I contend that it will be beneficial. Proof one, uh, Jimmy Dean says that uh, buying meat products supports the economy. Proof two, Little Debbie says that eating meat makes your recovery time faster, uh, stay fuller longer, and it has uh, no carbs in it. Uh, my proof three is Oscar Mayer says eating meat is like exercising in that it promotes muscle growth. Did they give us any proof? Which one? What they said. <laughs> Not proof one. For, the, for proof one, yeah. he, said that he said that's what they said. That's anecdotal, and I don't accept anecdotal proof. So for proof one, you only gave one sort, well, one form of evidence. And so that is a hasty general generalization, which is a form of a logic, and I cannot accept a logical proof. Proof dose. Oh, you want me to do all of them? Okay. Sure. You only was supposed so, to give us one. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, so okay. For proof, um, okay. Proof two. Hold on. Oh. Oh no, not you, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for proof two, um, I think you said a girl's name. So is that like some form of authority? It's the first Little question Debbie. you ask. Little Debbie. Oh, sorry. Did they give us any proof for proof two? It's what they said. Okay, that's anecdotal and I don't accept anecdotal proof. So for proof two, is Little Debbie an authority? Sounds uh, like a know. rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Little Debbie. <laughs> Little Debbie. <laughs> My hostess with the most. Back then. Did he answer? He oh, said yes. no. Oh, no. Okay. So because Little Debbie is not an authority, I cannot accept your proof. That was close. If the question or the answer to question one is no, it becomes the illogic. Oh, and what is the authority illogic? Hold up. It's illogic and I cannot accept illogical proof? It's an inappropriate authority, which oh, is a form of illogic and you don't accept illogical proof. Okay, gotcha. And now do proof three from Oscar Mayer. Um, can he repeat proof three, please? Uh, Oscar Mayer says that eating meat is like exercising because it can promote muscle growth. Okay, did they give us any proof? That's what they said. That's anecdotal and I do not accept anecdotal proof. Um, that would be a form of hasty generalization because Ooh. you gave us only one sort, like form of evidence, which is illogical and I cannot accept illogical proof. What's the other way you can rip this one up? Um, it could be begging the question. Oh, I wasn't talking to you, Zaylin. You're already passed today. Yeah, you, you did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you killed it. You did good. You killed it. See what happens when you put your mind into it? Okay. So, he even said it. Eating meat is a lot like exercise. Oh, it's an analogy. There you go. Ask the analogy question. Mm -hmm. um, is eating meat similar to exercising? Yes. I uh, give me an F. Oh, do I say yep. give me an F relevant points of similarity? Yep. Okay. She just said that, Spence. Just said what? Me just say I don't have them. Oh, I don't have any. Okay, because you've not given me enough relevant points of similarity, I cannot accept your proof. There you go. There you go. Good. Now, I don't know. Did I ever do the layout for what you do on the negative when you show up? I don't believe so. 
And this way that you can have a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You can take us, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, let's do that. Everybody have a black rectangle? Yep. Anybody have a white rectangle? No. Me. Just as Tom Weissy has started sharing. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Now, does anybody have a white rectangle with the letter M on it? No. Nope. Son of a bitch. You're just going to okay. have to like Microsoft Word it and throw it on that page. Is... I don't want uh, to. We got Jasmine. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click that button and absolutely nothing happens. Click that button and it doesn't do jack all. Come on. There we go. Then I'm going to click on this word whenever it comes up. What is the next one looking for the kids? And do share screen and do automatically share and then go back and click that again and you're going to get a white damn rectangle. Dun, 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 dun. It's starting out like the black one again. Yeah, it and it's just sharing. It just shows just as you start my it. desktop. Okay, screw it. All right, so there you go. <laughs> Let me see if that screenshot I can read it. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do on the negative. So right on top, put a parenthesis and then put good prima facie, good prop, good prop contention link. That goes across the top. Good prima facie, good what? Prop link. Good prop and then good prop contention link. Let me see if I can do this. <sighs> Having a technologically poor day. Would you be able to post it on the... That's what I'm doing right now, actually. Perfect. Even if you get... Fine. Don't forget to hit publish. Yes, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it's $9,000, Dale. I'd rather owe it to you than teach you out of it. That's true. Okay, so... Let's add that module name, negative flow. Add that. Now I want to do this. Then I'm going to hit that and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to start with the P. Page. Create page. Negative oh. flow. Okay, talk amongst yourselves for a second. Because we still have like 15 minutes. So. Actually, I've got like one minute. All right, Dale. No, Piss Dale, off. no. Everybody <laughs> say goodbye to Dale. He's got to wear his new boots outside today. Work on your affirmative. Work on your affirmative. Hey, when is it due? Three weeks. Three weeks. Wait, oh, it's, so to, real it's, it's going to be due tomorrow. That way you people will actually start working on it now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are you here? All right, that go. one. Are you here? The two yeah, that proof? one. That's it. Two proof, right? Two proofs, right? Well, two conditions, I mean. Yeah, you're all done. Yeah. I did it this morning. Good job. Got to record now. Hit record. <laughs> Two contentions, three proofs for each one. Okay, oh, so right. the first music. thing, the first thing on the negative is you're going to be. You notice how I ignored Andre? Okay. Yeah. Those of you going into teaching, that's what you do. 
first you pick out your favorite students. Okay, you now Zalen's got an A going today, right? So then I just, every time that I need something, I'll just go back to Zalen and go, hey, Zalen. <laughs> okay. And that way I can ignore the poor students. Right, Amber? <laughs> you check as they're as you're flowing the affirmative once they say their prop you know if it's a good prop or not why because you know the four rules statement one clear idea neutral language ask for a change if it's okay great <clears throat> but if it's not you make a note you put a big star there ding 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 and then when it's time for you to do your negative, you would go, I first want to point out the negative or the affirmative did not give us a good proposition because they did not ask for a change, for example. And not asking for a change means they're arguing to support the status quo. And I thank them. But Tom's going to make me rip them up, rip them up anyway. But you got to point it out right at the beginning if there's something wrong with it. If they didn't meet their prima facie responsibility, you point that out right at the beginning, okay? The affirmative did not give us a third proof for contention two, and it's too late to add it now. That's what's important. And speaking of that, according to the European court, the chief judge for the European court found in particular that there was a strong prima facie case that Mr. Lavaneko was poisoned by Mr. Lugovoy and Mr. Kovatin under the authority of Vladimir Putin. So there's actually using the words prima facie in context. And if the contention doesn't link to the proposition, it's not an argument for the proposition. And how do you check to see if the contention links? Zaylin. <laughs> Sorry, I failed you. I'm not quite sure on that. Well, you said therefore, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So as you're flowing the contention in your brain, you go therefore, and you say the prop. And if it makes sense, it links. If those three things, prima facie, good prop, good prop contention link, if there's something wrong with them, you point it out right away. If they're fine, you don't say anything, but somebody in here is going to do it. Well, the affirmative had a good prima facie case and they had a good prop and you're wasting your time, <laughs> okay? But then you go to the proposition and you repeat it back because that gives you the opportunity to make sure that you have that in your head, right? So your proposition was, is everybody should root for Green Bay this weekend? Okay. And they'll go, yeah. <clears throat> okay, and you defined everyone and I'll fix this later. You define everyone, so just look at that. So prop, your proposition was this, right? Yep, good, and you defined not good on that. The check marks here. You define that word and that word. Yep. And your contention was this, right? Yep. Okay, let's go to your first proof. Your first proof said this, yes. And in this first box is A N E C. What does that mean? Anecdotal. Thank you, Katie. I can, you and Zaylin, you're right next to each other too. James has been rocking today and all the crappy students are on the bottom. <laughs> so, oh no, Andre moved, Never mind. And then <laughs> right here, it says one other form of reasoning. So anecdotal and one other form of reasoning. Anecdotal, one other form of reasoning. Anecdotal, one other form of reasoning. Then you go, and your second contention was this, right? Yep, good. Your first proof said this, right? Yep. Did they give us any proof? That's what they said. It's anecdotal. I don't accept anecdotal proof. Besides that, 
You only gave us one thing. That's a hazy generalization form of a logic. I don't accept a logical proof. Let's go to proof two. And you're going to be able to do that in three weeks. What I'm going to be doing after next week is I'm splitting the class up. Okay. Half of you will show up on Tuesday and the other half will show up on Thursday. The people who show up Thursday will be watching the recording from Tuesday and the people who show up on Tuesday will watch Thursday's recording. That way you will get multiple times where you have to do cross-examination. Okay. Yes, Tom, we look forward to it. <clears throat> oh. William, your your nonverbal cues sort of sum up the class today. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's well done. But oh yeah, Jack, James, Katie, Zalen, they're all on top for a reason. Cream comes to the top. Right? Hey, and so that's, I'm going to write that up. I've already started it. It's going to be on your homepage in about 20 minutes. And with that in mind, you can see how it flows on the negative. Yeah. Your prop was this, yeah? Oh, my bad. Did, were they prima facie? Good prop, good prop contention link. If yes, you say nothing. If no, you point it out right away. And then your prop was this, you define that term and that term. You don't need, we're accepting the definitions here. So you don't need to give us the definition back. Just say you defined everybody and cocaine, yes. Ooh, Andre's ears perked up. <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> Jack. So now your contention was this, right? Yep, good. Your first proof said this, yep. Anecdotal oofer, one other form of reasoning. Your second proof said this, right? Yep. Anecdotal oofer. Your third proof said this, right? Yep. Anecdotal oofer. Because you're going to be asking in your first go around the anecdotal question for every proof, the affirmative gets four minutes, the negative will get five. For your second cross examination, you both get four minutes. But the negative for their second cross-examination will be able to go, your prop was this, yeah, you define that and that, yeah, your contention was this, yeah. For these three proofs, did they give us any proof? That's what they said, okay? They're all anecdotal. I don't accept anecdotal proof. Now let's go to proof one. And you do the oofer for each one. That's the second go around. So that you don't need that extra minute anymore. And William's just summing it all up. You really are. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole has gotten prepared for whatever it is she's doing today. Constitution Day. It's Constitution Day? On campus, it's Constitution Day. Ah, 1789. You all knew that, right? It's part of the citizen test. Year was that written? It's the year it was confirmed yeah, or confirmed. affirmed. Yeah. Yes, it went into effect in 1789, which means a bunch of dead white guys had spent six years writing that puppy. And they got rid of all the good amendments. Yeah. But. Yeah, that was a good test. <laughs> so there we are. No shit. Uh, everybody's just going, great, Tom, let us the hell out of here. You need to get your third affirmative done ASAP because then you go, Tom, I want to do this for my fourth and final affirmative. And I'll go, okay. And then all you got to do is show up to class. How many people are taking more than one class? You will be done with the outside work for this class once you are done with your fourth affirmative. So it behooves you then, and the Jasmine rule is in effect. I will check my damn email. <laughs> a, Otherwise you're gonna have to pay me. 
Yep. I was already going to say you're down to 700 now. So, and I can go through it and go, because the one thing you cannot do in affirmatives three or four is use illogic. You're going to have a good expert cited in each proof because that's too damn easy for the negative to rip up. Okay. Are you leaving, Amber? It was like, I'm going to leave. No, I'm not. Okay. Do you notice Raphael, Miguel, Xavier, and Brianna on the bottom are still black rectangles? That's so I don't pick on them. And Elisa, I don't know how you ended up on the bottom. That's Andre's spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a veteran. You know I can mess. Hey, there's Raphael. Okay. So I can mess with veterans. We have. We're simpatico. So questions, comments, epiphanies. What are we going to be doing on Tuesday? Cross-examining. Cross-examining. We're going to go bam, 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 bam. I'm going to read an affirmative and you're going to rip it up. And we're going to take turns. So okay, I'll say, Jack, you start us out. And so he'll double check prima facie, good prop, good prop contention link. And then he'll go, your prop was this, you define that and that, and your contention was that, right? Good. And then he's going to rip up the first two proofs. And then I'm going to go, Shanice, take over. And you're going to do proof three of contention one, and then contention two, and proof one of contention. So everybody will get at least two proofs to rip up. Just so you know, this is for practice. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is for practice. Because I had one idiot. I mean, I had somebody intellectually challenged. And that person got up to do his first cross-examination and did the prop, the definitions, the contention, and the first two proofs. And he sat down. And I went, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Well, that's how we did it in class. No, 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 you got to rip the whole thing up. Okay. Just so you know, but in practice, because there's so many of y'all, we're not going to get to those until two and a half weeks from now, where you do the whole thing. Okay. Boy, you all look brain dead, except for my age. I'm all in ears. Right. You got things sticking out. Of you. Did you leave your Q-tips in your ears? Uh, uh, COS supply earbuds. Ooh. They're huge. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> I have a COS supplied POS PC that I'm working on right now. So. <laughs> my 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 earbuds are ear, earbuds are charging, and you know I had the whatever man long morning long morning. Yeah, I wouldn't go walking in public wearing those. No, <laughs> <laughs> look at them. They're fat. <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> I like it. All right. Go away. Get your third affirmative done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a safe weekend. Root for the Packard team of your choice Sunday night. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye, Nicole. Happy Constitution Bye. Day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have fun, Andre. Brianna, Bye. if you're in there.